An Egyptian soldier has been killed in a shooting incident near the Rafa border crossing between Egypt and the Gaza Strip. And this border crossing, remember, is controlled by the Israelis now. Both the Egyptian and the Israeli authorities have launched a probe into this incident. The Israeli military reported the incident on the Egyptian border and said that it is in discussions with Egypt. The Egyptian military has issued a statement that has said that a probe into the death of the Egyptian soldier in the shootout is currently on. The soldier was on protection duty and according to the Egyptians, the probe is being conducted by the competent authorities. According to the news agency AFP, the al Qahra news, which has links to the Egyptian intelligence, has quoted a defense official as saying that an initial probe of the shooting incident indicated that Israeli troops and Palestinian militants had exchanged fire, which led to shooting in several directions. He further added that the Egyptian security personnel were taking protective measures and dealing with the source of the fire. The shooting incident occurred amidst tensions between Egypt and Israel or the Israeli forces taking control of the Rafa border crossing three weeks ago as part of their offensive on the Gaza Strip. The move has blocked the passage of humanitarian aid into Gaza via Egypt. Earlier, Egypt had also warned the state of Israel against its military operations in the southern Gaza city of Rafa. Though fatal security incidents between the two nations have been pretty rare, a day after the Israeli-Hamas war began in October, a policeman in Egypt's Alexandria had opened fire on an Israeli tour group, killing two Israelis and their Egyptian guide. In a pre previous shooting incident in June 2023, Israel said that an Egyptian policeman had crossed the border and had killed three Israeli soldiers before being shot. However, the Egyptian army has said that the Egyptian policemen had crossed the border in pursuit of drug traffickers. Vion's correspondent from Israel, Jory Cohen, is of course joining us on the broadcast. Jory, there are some very key events that are happening today such as the United Nations Security Council is meeting to discuss the Israeli attack in Rafa, in which at least 40 plus people, majority of them being children, being killed, with pressure being building on Israel. Is Israel likely to halt its campaign in the Gaza Strip, especially because the International Court of Justice had asked Israel to stop its offensive on Rafa? So there are two key events on Tuesday. Firstly is the emergency meeting of the UN Security Council to discuss the IDF strike in Rafa. Now that killed two top Hamas commanders and dozens of civilians were killed in a subsequent fire which could reportedly have been caused by shrapnel from the strike. Now the EU's foreign policy chief has condemned the strike. The IDF said they did not expect to harm civilians and Israel's military prosecutor is reviewing the incident. The Biden administration said that Israel has the right to go after Hamas, but called for Israel to better protect civilians. Now, the second key event is formal recognition of a Palestinian state by Ireland, Spain and Norway. Slovenia's Prime Minister has said that they will decide on recognition on Thursday. But the EU has struggled to find a unified position as several member countries have said that the Palestinian state should only come about through negotiations between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. And Israel has called recognition a reward for terror after Hamas's 7th of October massacre. Now, the international pressure from these two events plus the rulings by the ICC and the ICJ are not likely to deter Israel's campaign against Hamas while 125 hostages are still being held captive in Gaza and while Hamas remains a threat on Israel's border. And also, Jody, there have been reports of tensions between Egypt and Israel in the latest incident. There's a shooting incident that has happened in which an Egyptian soldier has been killed. Now, what more can you tell us about this incident and is this likely to further deteriorate the Israeli-Egyptian ties? 
So it was reportedly a firefight between Egyptian and Israeli soldiers on the Gazan border, and one Egyptian soldier was killed. Now, Egyptian soldiers reportedly started this deadly exchange, according to Israeli media reports, and an Egyptian source has said that Egypt will take the necessary measures to prevent a similar incident from occurring again. Now, an Egyptian report said that the exchange of fire was triggered by a gunfight between Israeli soldiers and Hamas gunmen, and which they said led to shooting in multiple directions. Now, the IDF is in touch with Egyptian officials following this incident, and it appears that cooperation would continue, and that's despite disagreements in recent days over Israel taking control of the Gazan side of the Rafah crossing, having pushed Hamas out from there, and Egypt stopping aid entering from the Rafah crossing in protest. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.